So the last few Sundays, I made tier lists of all the Sword and Shield Alternate Art cards, the Galarian Gallery cards, and the Trainer Gallery cards, based off the market price and what I actually thought of the card. Now today, we are going to do a top 10 list of my favorite top 10 Pokemon cards from all three of those tier lists. Now these are the cards that I think have the best potential and that I think are just complete sleepers based on the actual market price and everything. And definitely stick around to the end of the video. I'm gonna throw a few minutes of card party footage. Same with Monday's video, but honestly, it's been crazy. I definitely recommend it. I was literally just walking down the hallway talking with Polkarev. And to all the fans that came up to me, I really, really appreciate it. I've been signing binders. I signed a super nice lady's uh, Pikachu Time magazine. I've been signing t-shirts, hats, taking pictures. It's honestly been crazy. But before we get started, we gotta thank today's video sponsor, and that is Punch-Out Gaming. Punch-Out Gaming is my local game store and the number one game store in all of Minnesota. I've actually been to the mall. You can order right from their site too. They got stuff for everybody. Pokemon, sports cards, Yu-Gi-Oh, One Piece, tons of video games and video game consoles. And they have one of the best selections of raw Pokemon cards that I have ever seen. So definitely check them out. You can also come there and play the TCG and everything. They got a whole game room. It's honestly a great time. The link is in the description and they're located 30 minutes north of the Twin Cities in Forest Lake. All right, let's get to it. First one, and these are in no particular order, like number wise. They're just, you know, Crown Zenith first, Trainer Gallery, then Alternate Arts. But the Pikachu, Secret Rare from Crown Zenith. This card is absolutely crazy. Now here's the thing that I feel like a lot of people don't think about with this card. I have a feeling in the future, a lot of people are gonna want this card. And these are the people that started in generation eight. I mean, look at this card. You got Pikachu, Urshifu, Calrex, Zacian, like Inteleon. It's a stacked card, beautiful. And it was going up a little bit. So it was 658, 1225, coming back down a little bit. So I know you guys can find these for like really, really good deals still. So 10, 11, 13. 11 not bad love this card i have multiple of these in a psa 10 also so i'd love to get more suicune v you guys know how i feel about this card it's amazing so the low was like 15 the last few months let's check that year so yeah about the same 15 so it got up to 30 i went back down to 24 last sold 31 23 23 16 25 22 now if these do come down a little bit more I am definitely going to buy as many of them as I can. I have a feeling a lot of these cards are going to come down a little bit more. And then, you know, as soon as they hit that bottom, I'm going to be pouncing. Next, the Arceus V-Star. I really have a feeling Arceus is going to have its day again. I mean, with Gertine being so hot and everything, the other alternate art is super, super good. You got to think, the other Arceus alternate art is probably honestly one of the worst ones for Sword and Shield. Not saying it's bad, because all alternate arts are honestly amazing, but you got to nitpick. I almost like the V promo from the figure collection box better than the actual textured Arceus card. But in my opinion, this is one of the best Arceus cards. And you never know if we get a couple really, really good Arceus cards or something and people start hunting Arceus. This is the Arceus card to me for modern. It's so good. And also the origin form Dialga and Palkia, great cards. I wish they weren't the origin forms, which I don't think they're that bad. And they're almost down to $50 again. So if they get down to like 40 bucks, I'm also going to be stocking up on those like crazy. And the Gertine also. If that dips below $100, I'm going to be going nuts on that card. Next, the Pikachu V Trainer Gallery. I think this is one of the best modern Pikachu cards we've ever gotten. Uh, it was, you know, 20 bucks up to 32 Now the sales are in the mid 20 So we're almost back down to where we were a few months ago. You know, 26, 27, 27, 29. Not bad. This card dips down to 20 bucks again. I'm going to be all over it. So the all-time low was, yeah, right around 20 bucks, $19. Love this card, though. Next, the Umbreon V. And in my opinion, the Vs are much, much better than the VMAXs. Uh, it was 16, up to 49, down to 30. Back up a little bit. Last sold, 39, 31, 37. 29 30 28 27 28 so if you can get it in the 20s you know 20 25 bucks i think it will come down a little bit more i'm definitely going to be getting a bunch of these like and i'm talking for this list i really feel like in three to five years these cards are going to be very expensive these are some of the best cards in all of sword and shield in my opinion of course so next the unknown v now i don't know if you guys knew this but there is actually a word spelt out here so victory is spelled out right here. 
I love the unknown card. I love unknown period. Super, super solid Pokemon. Was 13 up to 31, down to 23. So if he gets back into the teens, I would love to have a full nine card page of him. Absolutely beautiful. Next, a Mewtwo V alternate art. I really think this is one of the best Mewtwo cards we've gotten in a very long time also. I know it's Pokemon Go, but Pokemon Go is not as bad as what people think. The low was 15, up to 28, and last all 25, 25, 25, 28, 25. Again, if this card gets in the teens, again, I'm not missing out this time. This card was $100 for the longest time for Pokemon Go on release. It's a solid, solid Mewtwo card. I'm a big Mewtwo fan, so. Next, the Inteleon. Now, I don't think this is the best art, but this is the only Generation 8 starter that we got for all Sword and Shield alternate arts, which is crazy. And Inteleon, I think it's one of the best ones. I really feel like people, you know, three to five years, the people who started on this generation, are going to want this card. You know, I know it feels new and stuff, but you got to think this is one of the first Inteleon cards. Very hard to pull. Like, it is an awesome, awesome card. And it's Infusion Strike, one of the most popular sets in Sword and Shield. So you really cannot go wrong with this card. Let's check these prices. Well, it's 16. Let's check that one year low. 14.59 up to 27. Last sold. Uh, 18, 25, 30, 34, 27, 20. So not too bad for that card. All right, next on the list, we got the Rayquaza V Alt Art. Love this card. It was down to $69. Went all the way up to 149. Back down to 126. Last few sales are kind of all over the place. High 90s, low 100s. Then you got the random ones, 130, 110, 150, 150, 140. Beautiful card. And in my opinion, I think it is a little better than the VMAX. Just a little bit better. All right, last on the list, we got the Pikachu VMAX. Now, I know this was not on any of the tier lists, but I just absolutely love this card. You got to think there are literally probably tens of thousands or probably even more of people that came into the hobby chasing this Pikachu. Very, very hard to pull. It's in Vivid Voltage, not the best set, but it, I think it's a lot better than the earlier Sword and Shield sets. The low was 100 bucks last few months. Let's check that one year low. Down to $96. Wow, missed out on that. The high before, though, was 131 The last few sales, it's going up right now. So if you can find this thing for a good deal, I would definitely jump on it quick. You know, right around 100 110 bucks. I heard a few people at Card Party get this card for a good deal. Not like the mintiest copy, but still not bad. But the last few sales, 134 120 121 128 120 126 139 140 144 so yeah, like I said, if you can get that for, you know, 110 bucks, I'm also looking for one at Card Party, but solid card, you know, and I think Pikachu just really doesn't get that many actual expensive chase cards. He's got a few, but nothing compared to like Charizard and stuff. And this is honestly one of the best rainbows we've gotten. I'm very upset with myself that I did not get it when it got in the 90s. But I wasn't really doing these videos at that time. Now, if I see this thing ever dip below 100 bucks, I am going to get as many copies as I can because I really, really enjoy this card. And I think this will go down in history as one of the best rainbow cards. So, so yeah, that was my quick top 10 list for Sword and Shield. And again, sorry for the shorter videos. You know, I'm just so busy with Card Party and everything. And again, I am going to throw the Card Party footage right after this. So definitely check that out. And then two... If you guys see me on Sunday, I'll be here all day Sunday still. Definitely come say what's up. We'll hang out, maybe shop for some cards or do whatever, open some packs. Uh, they got Japanese 151 here for $55 a box. One person is selling it for. So I'm going to buy quite a few boxes and hand out some packs and open some stuff up and have some fun. But all right, let's get to the card party footage. Hope you enjoy.